After menopause, Gaylene found herself struggling with weight gain, and from what her friends were saying, that was just the way it was going to be, and so she thought, okay, I guess this is it now. I just gain weight, and there's nothing really I can do about it, until she went to her doctor, and her doctor said, mm, I think you gotta, you gotta eat a little bit better. So she started to do some clean eating, and she was really trying her best to, to take care of this, but she couldn't, and she couldn't figure out where she was going wrong. And then we started to to work together and as Gaylene talks about she's released 35 pounds so far and she is absolutely loving it and what makes it different this time around is that it sticks and she wants to keep living this way this isn't a crash diet where she's just exhausted and can't wait until it's over this is her new lifestyle she wants to shout from the rooftops how great she feels and she's getting tons of compliments from those around her asking her what are you doing you look incredible and she's telling them exactly what she's doing because she is succeeding and wants others to succeed as well today she's sharing her story with us so for anybody that is struggling with losing weight after menopause this is a must listen Woo! Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, my name is Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program, where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. If you wanna work with me and my team, click the link in the down bar to apply and we could be on a call in a couple days. Years ago, I just started gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight and I kept using men as my excuse. And I just thought last, you know, December, or January, I got to do something about it because I was told I needed a knee replacement, which really was because I was packing on too much weight. I was, you know, hurting my joints. So I, you know, always watched your YouTube videos for almost a year now and I would dabble in it, but it was actually the coaching and the actual signing up that made me really stick to it. Mm -hmm. Um. You said yourself, in fact, you just had a YouTube the other day, just because it's vegan doesn't tell me. Mm -hmm. And I was the epitome of getting the boxed rices, eat at Whole Foods. So I thought I was doing everything right. But you look at the ingredients and it's not healthy. You know, there's, I used to get the sauce packets, there's oil in them, but I used to love them over rice or over potatoes. So I could never really do it until I signed actually up for the program and had the coaching. I mean, it was just invaluable. Megan and you and Maria, I just, it made all the difference. So you mentioned that, you know, you'd been gaining weight and you kept telling yourself that, oh, because of menopause, this is happening. What sorts of things had you heard about menopause that made you believe that? To everyone around my age, 57 would say, oh, well, you're not going to lose weight like you used to when you were younger. And it, you just get that in your head and you just kind of don't even try anymore. Mm -hmm. And I, I, found to, I went to my normal doctor's appointment this year and she said, well, you can't really blame menopause. You just got to eat better. She goes, because you're post-menopause now and you just got to eat better and move. More. And so I did. And that's kind of what was the final determining factor of really contacting you and signing up. Mm -hmm. And I watched all the Healthy Mummy series. I mean, she was fascinating to me. I just loved both of you guys. Mm -hmm. But it just, it made me really realize it. So with, with making the decision to sign up, I know you were feeling nervous about it. And you were like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do it. How did you feel once you had made that decision? Really excited mm -hmm. and relieved. And at first, I think I was a little nervous, like, oh, what am I getting into? And am I going to be able to really do this? And then all of a sudden, like two weeks goes by, and I'm feeling so much better. And it dawned on me, I had that accountability and the support. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, technically, you guys are all strangers, I fell in love with you all. You're like my <laughs> friends. I just, like, I just, uh, the, the coaching is just invaluable. And I really think that makes a huge difference. We get to know you on a really personal level because we're seeing everything that you're eating. Those mindset journals, they go deep. You know, we're talking about things that you likely don't talk oh. about with anybody else. Totally, totally. And it takes you're exactly right. So it was 
it takes bravery and courage for a client to come to the program to talk about these things. But once you open yourself up to that, you set whatever is inside that's really making you feel like, oh, I feel stuck. You set it free by coming into the program. Exactly. That's that's exactly right. It's so true. It, it was like one of my last mindset um, calls when Maria called and she was like, well, Gillian, you've done so good. You're si- it's your six week check. And I was like, oh, I'm going to miss everyone so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to miss you too, but I'm glad we're doing this interview so that I can watch it back when I miss you. Uh, so tell yeah, me yeah. what you tried on your own before we got started together in order to get the get the weight off. You know, I tried clean eating like um, vegetables and chicken mm-hmm. and rice or, you know, and I always stayed away from potatoes because I had that in my head that you don't eat potatoes. But again, I was sauteing my vegetables. They were really delicious, but in oil. Mm -hmm. And I've learned to use vegan broth to saute my vegetables or just water. But the, and then um, eating Greek yogurt. I was doing all those kind of things thinking I was doing better for myself. And it was actually my knee doctor who said, you want to stick to a really anti-inflammatory diet, stay away from dairy and he said, I personally am vegan. And he he like promoted it. And that was about three weeks before I started with you. So I had that in my head too. And, you know, I just kept thinking I was doing all the right things. But like I said, I would eat packaged things. And one thing you've said, and again, it's videos, and it just makes such sense, is eat things with only one ingredient in it. Mm. Potato. Brussels sprout. Rice brown rice you know um and I just live by that now and like some people will say gosh um how did you do it did you take diet pills or are you just miserable and I'm not I'm loving it and I said no I'm just eating healthy I'm eating what my body will take and process and it's good for me And you are an example of somebody who you were putting in effort, you know, you were, you were having the vegetables, you were trying the clean eating, but if you have something a little bit off, it won't work. For example, if you're eating tons of vegetables, but you're sauteing them in oil, then you stay stuck and you're like, my body's broken when really we just have to Mm -hmm. make a little shift there. And so that's the power of doing the coaching too, is when we see photos of everything that you're eating, we catch them. Yeah, because um, Megan would tell me like the littlest tweak, like I was kind of at a standstill for like a week. And again, you know, you take pictures every single meal. And uh, like she she just gave me a couple little tweaks and it worked. Just the tiniest little tweaks made all the difference. Mm-hmm. So do you want to show off and tell us what you've achieved? So go, I've lost 35 pounds. I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah. I I mean, I have to admit the other day, like day before yesterday, right before I chat, um, sent my email chat or my chat to you, I had to like double check the scale and then I even pulled it out of the wall because I was afraid it was leaning up against the wall. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but I just feel good. It's so fun buying all the new clothes and because everything's way too big. Yeah. Well, yeah. How does it feel for you to achieve this? It feels good, but how else does it feel? So just happy. Mm-hmm. Like the, to sum it up, happy and proud of myself. Mm-hmm. Like before I started, like I wouldn't even look in front of a mirror. I wouldn't even walk in a mirror in front of a mirror because I just hated the the feeling I had and the way I looked. And now I'm like, oh, look at me in my size eights. I'm rocking it. You know, I something that I've noticed with you, Galen, is from when we started together to now, a personality trait of yours that has just blossomed, that was in you, and now it's just overwhelming, is how supportive you are of others and wanting others to succeed, too. For example, my mm-hmm. 
like, you know, I want to shout from the rooftops that this works. So because it's working for you, you want other people to succeed too, which I think is such a beautiful trait that we see blossom with clients as they're successful. They want others to be successful and happy and healthy as well. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I do like, I had a friend cause I, I posted a picture on Facebook yesterday. I just, the one picture I sent to you, it's the, uh, because I changed my profile picture, I had people constantly texting me, all my friends, oh my gosh, you look amazing. What are you doing? And I tell everyone I'm doing, I'm just, you have to do slim on starch with healthy Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. You're a great example of what happens when you jump in and you apply. Did you achieve anything that you weren't expecting to achieve? Um. Yeah, you know what? I think I achieved willpower. I hadn't had that you know, like, or I'd go a few days eating clean, and then I would have something not good for me. And then I'm like, well, I already fell off the wagon. I might as well keep going. Mm -hmm. I never had that once mm -hmm. in the six weeks. And like, I think I even told you, I went to a spiritual retreat, and the nutrient or the cook at the retreat texted me before, and I sent her a list of all the foods I can eat, and she made them all for me. <laughs> Like on Mexican night, everyone else had enchiladas and tacos. She made me my own separate little bean Mexican dish. And I mean, she really went all out. Let's talk about how you overcame those two things. First, you overcame the all or nothing thinking of, oh, I had one thing. I may as well just throw in the towel. How did you overcome that? That's That's a really tough mindset shift to make. I think, again, it was just because I started to feel a better feeling and I was just bound or determined to do it this time. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I don't even think I was on it five days to a week and I started to feel better. And I think that is what kept me motivated. And talking to Megan and Maria, you know, they they just give you because there were some obstacles when I had to go to like a, a St. Patrick's Day party, but it was just, and I was, I was kind of nervous about it. Cause I was like, I think my first week and I took the picture and it to Megan and she goes, you know what? You did really well with what you had, mm -hmm. but see the old Gilling would have had the soda bread with the, the pot or, or uh, corn beef and cabbage, but I had just the, cabbage and the potatoes but I do think it just took a few days to almost a week of starting to feel the difference that made me want to really really stick to it and get so determined mm -hmm. what you're pointing out here Gaylene very beautifully is that the the high that comes from those destructive behaviors feels good but what also feels good is eating SOS, feeling light on your feet, having good digestion. So you can get that temporary mm -hmm. pleasure, that hit of dopamine from eating the soda bread, for example. Or you can have a steady, everyday, feeling good, digestion feels good, you're releasing weight. Which one do you want to go for? And you decide to go the more mature route of delayed gratification and health. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then the second thing that you overcame was that, you know, building confidence in your food choices and advocating for yourself for what it is that you knew that you needed for food. So how did you muster up that? Yeah. Uh, I think just because I was almost at my six week mark. In fact, I think I was, and I was just not going back. And mm -hmm. I just had the confidence to say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to continue to do this. This is my new lifestyle. This is my new way of living. And I, and I'm really careful not to go to diet because it's not because I wanted to change my lifestyle mm -hmm. where a diet just sounds so restrictive and negative. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think I just finally had, uh, yeah, I just, there was no way I was going back and I just had the confidence to say, Hey, this is what I eat. If you don't mind, can you, mm -hmm. They did. They totally accommodated me. 
Yeah. Nothing changes if nothing changes. And you putting yourself first was a way to saying a way of saying to your body, I got you. We we're going to do this thing together. I know that you've been liking eating this way. You trust me now you're releasing weight and I'm going to continue to show up for you. So you chose yourself, you put your health first, and I'm sure that you showed up as the best version of yourself when you were there because you were properly fueled. I think you're right. I know you're right. Yeah. Good. If a friend came up to you and said, I'm struggling with the wit menopause weekend, I've tried, you know, I'm trying, but it's not coming off. I'm just gonna, you know, fold my cards and that's it. What would you say to them? Um, I would say that's the way I used to feel. You need to feel feel your body in a better way and a happier way. So it is using up the real fuel. And then I'll tell them. You got to watch Healthy Emmy. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for saying that. I, I love that you said, Gaylene, that's the way I used to feel. Meaning that for people that feel that way right now, that's not a life sentence. If you apply yourself and right. you're active and you find somebody to help you and you make changes, it will change for you. So congratulations right. on making that decision. You've reaped the benefits and you're wearing it beautifully. Yeah, I am excited. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to share with us? No, I think I pretty much covered everything. Beautiful. Well, you've been such a joy. I'm going to miss talking to you, but I know you're going to be in my Instagram DMs and we'll keep in touch there. Uh, and I guess working with you. Okay. Awesome. Love you guys. Thank All you. Right. Love ya. If you made it to this point in the video, comment grin because I love the grin that Gaylene always has on her face and she does during this entire interview. I look forward to meeting you should you want to join the Slim on Starch program and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.